So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3 inch by 3 inch corkscrew bow. In order to make the corkscrew bow, you are going to need... So your first step to make the corkscrew bow is you're going to need your dowel and your ribbon. I like, for one bow, I like to have five different styles of ribbon um, just to add some character to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to start curling the ribbon around the dowel at an angle like this. On the end, you're going to use your clothespin to hold the ribbon in place. And then as you twist the ribbon around the dowel, you want to make sure that you're leaving a gap in between the ribbon so that the ribbon does not melt to itself when it's baking in the oven. So you're going to just do that all the way down to the end of the dowel. You can do it as close as you want as long as it's not touching or as far apart as you want. The closer you can get it together, the tighter the curl will be. So I like to try and do mine closer. And then when you get to the end, you're going to just attach another clothespin to hold the end of the ribbon in place. I like to do this and twist it around to make sure that it's really tight. So now this is ready to go in the oven to bake at 275 degrees for 25 minutes. You want to make sure that you put it on a cookie sheet. And if you have multiple dowels on the cookie sheet, um, just make sure that none of the ribbon is touching each other. So these are the five different colors of ribbon that I just pulled out of the oven. Again, I baked them at 275 degrees for 25 minutes. When I put them on the cookie sheet, I made sure that none of the ribbon was touching each other so that they would not melt to each other. Um, you want to make sure that they cool completely before you take them off the dowels. That way they will hold their curl uh, longer and better. Okay, so now you're now that they've completely cooled, you're going to remove the ribbon from the dowel. Sometimes it sticks. I like to do this just to loosen it from the dowel, and then it should slide off fairly easy. So there you have your curled ribbon. I am going to cut them into three inch pieces. And as you cut them, you're going to want to cure the edges of the ribbon so that the ribbon doesn't fray. And you should be able to get four pieces. So my last piece is three inches. I'm just going to cure the edges. Once you've done this to all of your colors that you're going to put on the bow, you should have, if you've done five different dowels with ribbon, you should have four of each, and that will make a really nice, full three inch by three inch corkscrew bow. So I've cut all of my ribbon, again, into three inch pieces. And because I have five different styles of ribbon, I end up with 20 pieces of curly ribbon in order to make one bow. So the next, 
the next step is to get your sewing thread and cut off a piece. I like to fold mine in half just to make it a little bit more thick and sturdy. And then you're going to start simply by um, figuring out the center of your piece and simply threading them. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I alternate them. And you're just going to start putting them on your needle. So don't worry so much about how it lays because it's going to just kind of end up sitting its own way. So you don't have to be too particular about which way the ribbon is laying. Just make sure that you get it on the center the best you can of the ribbon. So once you have your last piece of ribbon on, you're now going to thread it through just a little bit, like this, making sure that you still have quite a bit of thread underneath. That way your ribbon won't fall off the thread. Now you're going to take each piece again and repeat the same thing. Just don't go in the same hole. You want to go next to it. Okay, so you're just going to continue doing this until you get to your last piece of ribbon. Okay, so now that I've got all of the ribbon on the needle coming back through the other way. As you can see, I still have a piece of thread and then my needle is just a little bit away from the other hole that I made previously. You're going to pull the thread through as tight as you can. Sometimes it helps if you pull on both pieces to make it tight. And then you're simply going to tie this thread in a knot to finish it off and hold it. I would make at least three good knots to hold it really tight. And once that's done, then you can just clip your thread. So now that we've sewn all of the pieces of ribbon together, this is what it looks like. It hides the center so you can't even tell where the thread went through. Now I'm going to show you how to attach the alligator clip. But before I do that, I'm actually going to show you how I decorate the clip prior to attaching the bow. I've picked a piece of ribbon that I used in my bow. And then with the alligator clip, I'm going to put a piece of glue right here on the back. It doesn't take much. And I'm going to attach the ribbon. So it looks like this. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put a piece of glue right here. Same thing, attach the ribbon. So now it looks like this. 
And before gluing the rest of it on, I'm actually going to measure how much I need approximately and cut it off. And then I'm going to cure the end of this ribbon. You want to hold it open so that the glue doesn't get on the bottom side. You want to just put a little bit of glue. It doesn't take much. Flip it back over. Okay, so now I'm going to attach the bow to the alligator clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue right here. Again, you don't have, want to use too much, um, but you want to make sure that there's enough to hold the bow on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of ribbon right here, and that's what I'm going this is the part that I'm going to attach to the alligator clip. So that it looks like that. And then you want to just press down and hold it until the glue dries a little bit. And there you go. It's all finished. Okay, so here I show you, this is the one that I just made. Um, you can also make them smaller if you want. These smaller ones, um, I used a smaller dowel. So this is the size I used for this bow. And this is the dowel I used for the smaller bow. These ones I cut two inches apart. Same thing, I have five different styles of ribbon. Um, the smaller ones I have three pieces of each style instead of four, like I used for the bigger bows. For tips on this project and other projects, please visit my blog at www.wordswithstyle.blogspot.com. Thank you.